Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand Rendijo's point. So that is one of the most important feature which we are going to use practically while working with the performance testing. So before moving to the Rendijo's point, we need to understand the requirement of the Rendijo's point. So first of all, I am moving to my paint and here we can see a simple scenario like I have a script in which we have three steps like users are going to log in then going to perform some search functionality and log out here I want to apply 10 users so I mention like 10 users so when I apply 10 users all the 10 users are going to hit server so as you can see my 10 users are going to the server but it might be possible server is responding only few users at the start and rest of the users are in progress so means server got 10 requests here so i can mention like when the 10 users are going to the server server is getting 10 request server was able to satisfy only three requests so it respond to the three users so in response we are getting three user response rest seven users are still in progress on the server side so the three users who got response of the login they will move to the search functionality because they have already logged in so three users are on the search rest seven users still waiting for server to respond on the login request so here we can see like even i have applied 10 users simultaneously on my server but my all the users are not working in parallel means all the users are not going to the search in parallel first three hours users are going then might be possible that we got four more responses so then four more users will go to the search so so that is not a syncing between the users so all the users are taking it's on time to log in and after the login they are going to the search in in different point of time now i want to implement a scenario in which all the 10 users need to perform this search simultaneously means i want to hit this search functionality by 10 users these 10 users will hit this search simultaneously or we can say concurrently when we want to perform some task by multiple number of users at same point of time in that case we are going to use rendijous point so for rendijous point what we can do we can add a rendijous point over here so to add the rendijous point i'm going to show you how we can add rendijous point so we can add rendijous point here so what the rendijous point is going to do so i have added a rendijous point of 10 users over here we are going to add a rendijous point of 10 users so what is going to do so it's going to work like if we are getting response of three users, so three users will come on this rendijous point and will stop over here, or we can set pause over here. We have set 10 users over here, so rendijous point will hold all the users until we reach 10 users on this point. So I'm taking example like first time three users got the response, so I mentioned three users now after few milliseconds or we can say seconds or whatever the time it's taking four more users are coming so again four more users will come and will stop on this rendijous point so now on the rendijous point we have total seven users and now it will wait for the next three users so when next three users will come from the server so it will be 10 users and we have applied rendijous point of the 10 user so now we have 10 users on this rendijous point 
Now, Randiges point will allow all the 10 users to move forward. So in that case, all the 10 users will move forward to the search. So here we have seen like in the kind of scenario when we want multiple users to perform same tasks simultaneously. In that kind of scenario, we are going to use Randiges point. We are going to add this Randiges point while creating the scripts in the virtual user generator. But this point is going to be used or we can set number of users or rest of the settings will be done when we are working in controller because in virtual users generator we cannot apply multiple users. So we are going to use this point in controller. We are going to apply this randiges point while creating the script on a virtual user generator. So as to summarize whenever we want a specific number of users to perform next task simultaneously in that case we can add randiges point randiges point will hold whatever the number you have decided so if you have decided like 10 users so it will hold till 10 users will come on this point and once 10 users will come on this point it will allow all the users to perform next task in same point of time so by this way we can implement or we can find out the functionality like when x number of users are hitting the same functionality so what should be the response of the server so here we want like search functionality should be hit by 10 users so we have added randiges point before this search now moving to my load runner so how we can set randiges point over here so here we can see like uh, that the script that we have recorded in the previous session so we have a registration over here and after the registration we have flight booking so i want to add a randiges point before the flight booking i want before flight booking all the users must come on this point or a specified number of users must stop on this point and then they perform the flight booking simultaneously so i'm going to the line and you can add randiges point like design in certain script and we have the option of the randiges point so randiges point is added you can give any name to this point i'm giving before booking so you can give any name and as i told you this randiges point will be added while creating a script in the virtual user generator but we are going to use this randiges point when we are executing our script with the multiple users on controller so as of now we have created a randiges point on already created script but we have an option that we can add randiges point while recording our script as well so I'm moving to a new script and this time I'm going to select the protocol that is HTTP HTML and giving the name Rendigious. Click on create and now I'm going for recording. So using like browser is the Google Chrome that's my URL start recording so here we have seen like my application started and first of all I want to go for the registration so I'm going to sign up now and testing word 11 pass 1 so click on continue and user username is taken so I'm going to use a different username click on continue so now I am logged in so I want to go for a flight booking but before that I want to add a randiges point because I want my all the users will perform this flight booking at the same time so here we have the option of the randiges point we can select that like flight booking 
click on ok and now we can perform the same task as we are doing before everything is same now i want to go for the sign off so everything is done i'm stopping this recording once the recording is done here we can go to script and you can check like this then dgs point is added so that's my religious point that we have added while creating the script but it's not going to make any impact in virtual user generator it will work only when the number of users will come on it and number of users can be applied in controller so we can add this over here but we are going to view this when we are working on the controller so that's all we have for the rendiguous point. Thanks for watching this video.